Hi guys, it's Mrs. B again. I am thinking of spring and how it's going to be starting tomorrow. And I thought, what fun would it be if we did a fun spring project? So, as you can see, I have very few supplies. Yay! You'll need some paper and maybe a brown marker, um, some green paint because when the leaves come out in the spring, they're green. I got some pink paint too because you'll see what it would do, but you can do any color because when a tree blooms, it blooms pretty color. Some trees bloom white flowers, some yellow, some pink. My favorite color is pink, so I picked pink. And then, you see these guys? Legos, yay! Who knew that you can paint with Legos? So here we go. What you're gonna do to start is, you can draw tree branches. So you're gonna draw a tree. I would make one big tall branch and then trees has lots of branches. So I just drew lots of branches. You can have mommy and daddy help you or you can do it yourself. Your tree can be as big as the paper or you can make a small tree. Trees come in all different shapes and sizes. So be creative. Okay, so after you've drawn your tree with a marker, I use marker, you can use paint or crayon or colored pencil, be creative. I can't wait to see what you do. Okay, so here's your tree. So next, I'm gonna pick one of these. Hmm, I think I'm gonna pick the light blue with four on it for me. So you're just gonna dip it really light. See, very light. Cause you don't want too much paint on there. So you're gonna dip the top, sorry trying to watch what I'm doing and do it. And then we're just gonna start putting some leaves on trees, look at that. Now you're gonna have to probably keep dipping and then doing it. Oh, some dripped, but that looks cool. Look at that. Now you can use the four, the six, or the eight, or be creative. Use a lot of different ones. I love when you're creative and make your work your own. So Miss B is just gonna kind of stamp it all over, right? Look at all those leaves blooming on my tree. I can't wait for spring. Now, some other touches that you can add while I'm doing this, I'll tell you. You can add um, a sun if you want in the sky, um, or you can color some grass. There's different ways that you can make your tree beautiful. Okay, so this is just my tree. As you can see, I'm kind of, I think I'm pretty close to done. I kind of like how it looks. Maybe I'll put a little bit more over here. Let's see, put some over here. Yeah, I think I love how my tree looks. Okay, maybe a little here, here. Okay, I think we're good. At least I am. You can add as much as you want. So, my tree, I think, is full of some leaves. Like I said, you can add grass down here and you can use, like, the big one and maybe go like this. So let's see if I can show you while holding the phone. Kind of, oh yeah, look. Oh, I love it. Add some green grass. And I'm just kind of scraping it. Isn't that so fun? Okay, so now I showed you some ideas. You get creative on your own. Now, if you don't have Legos available, that is okay. You can use your finger if mom and dad say, or a Q-tip, or the end of a paintbrush, or a paintbrush. So last but not least, I'm gonna pretend like this is all dry. What I was gonna do is I wanna add some pink to mine. I'm actually gonna use my finger. 
And I am going to just put a little dots. See, I'm just gonna, my finger's not as small as your guys's, but I'm gonna start adding pink, pink dots to my tree. And I'll add more and show you a picture after I'm done. But I'm gonna add pink dots. I might even actually use the two and dip it in and then put it all over and then you have it. You can look at my comments and I'll show you the final project. I can't wait to see yours. Happy spring.